Grab a notebook, grab a pen. Do your homework and tell a friend. Know all the answers and buzz them in. Who knows it better? You are them. It's the cooking classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here is the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Ananya! Slow motion! Yes! Ben, what up, dude? David, how are you, man? Good to see you. All right, all right, they're ready to. I hope you are. What a day! What a day on the classroom. How about that crowd sounding ready? Today, check it out. Students, teachers, where are they from? It's Penfield Middle School in Montgomery County. They just entered the classroom. Hey, students, going against their favorite teachers, what can be better? I'll tell you what, the crowd here is ready for a game. Check them out. They're wild, and there's $500 on the line and those bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, we're going to jump right into a pop quiz. OK, squads, here we go. Hashtag let's do it. Was that cool, guys? I'm just trying to stay trendy with the high school kids. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. You buzz in first, guys. Just wait until I call your name to answer if you get the question wrong. Someone from the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Time starts right now. What numerical prefix is used to indicate the number three? Dr. Gallucci. Try. Try is right. The Arkenstone is a wondrous gem sought by one of the main characters in what novel? David. The Hobbit. The Hobbit is right. Which planet in the solar system is third closest to the sun? Dr. Gallucci. Earth. Earth is right. Sound, extra credit, here's double. Adam, Bree, and Chase are the superpowered teen sidekicks to Leo on what Disney show? Lab rats. Ananya with the right answer, Lab Rats. What was the last name of the President of the United States before Barack Obama? Mrs. Dillon. Bush. Bush is right. In the NBA, the city of Brooklyn is represented by what team? Dr. Gallucci. The Nets. The Nets is right. In what Hasbro game do players attempt to say different phrases while wearing mouthpieces? I love this game. Party favorite at the Curtis household. Looking for speak out right there. Which breed of dog is considered to be the fastest? Dr. Gallucci. Greyhound. Greyhound is right. What is the Spanish word for cheese? Dr. Gallucci again. Queso. Queso, and he's here to play apparently. What country artist won the album of the year Grammy for Golden Hour in 2019? going to put a break on it. Casey Musgraves is the right answer there. What ocean separates the U.S. from Great Britain and Europe? David. Atlantic. Atlantic is right. In the classic video game, how many ghosts chase Pac-Man? Mrs. Dillon. Three. Students oh. for the steal. Ananya. Four. Add one. There it is. How about it? What a round. I love when we kick it off. Both sides are here to play. Teachers in the lead with 60 points. Students with 50. Both sides are smiling, and they should be, because they're not only playing a great game, but they're from Penfield Middle School in Hatfield, Pennsylvania. Yeah. How about my man right here? He's team captain today, and when he's you know doing his thing, he goes by the name of David. Am I right? Yep. See, I'm spot on. How about it? 500 today, David's going on the line. If you win it, what are you doing with it? Renovating the uh, courtyard in the middle of our school. Anything you want to do in particular? Moon uh, bounce. We want to moon bounce. Add a moon bounce. Um, if we can. Moon We'd bounce. Like a path through the middle. We're we going can. moon bounce. All right, okay. we're going moon bounce. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, Matt, you're a ninth grader. You're you're the musical talent of our generation, as I'm saying. What is that? Um, I can play piano, trumpet, and mallet percussion. That's in. That's insane. How do you get good at all those? Practice. There it is. And favorite <laughs> thing to play? Do you have one? Um, coconut mall. Coconut mall. <laughs> I, should I know? Should I know that song? No. Okay. Where's it? They, we'll move on. How about a coconut mole? It's the greatest song known to man. Ben, ninth grader, awesome talent. What is it? Oh, uh, I fence. Dude, that's wild. Okay, I told Ben I'm so excited because I've never met a real fencer in life. Aren't you afraid you're like gonna get stabbed by accident? Uh, like always, you're running around with the sword. It's always that thought in the back of my mind, but you know. You gotta just keep swiping. Do you watch Game of Thrones? No. Nah. No, you should. That's like what you get to watch the practice there. Yeah. All right, Ananya, ninth grader, first degree black belt. How about it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right? Awesome. Then I'm not gonna mess with you at all because I'm not getting beat up by you or Ben with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, moving on. Uh, Ananya, <laughs> hardest thing, hardest thing to do on your way to getting a black belt. What was it? It was facing prejudice. Right, definitely. and you told everybody what? Um, I told Betty, every, I, like I could do it. Just because I'm a girl, it doesn't mean anything. That's awesome. And you're here today. Listen, let's beat these teachers. How about it, students? Let's get them. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Weaponry and fists, and then David, he'll just play music the whole time while it's happening. All right, Dr. Gallucci, $500, where's that going today? It's going for new equipment for our TV studio. Awesome, anything in particular? No. TVs? <laughs> People gotta watch them. Uh, you're the Latin teacher. Yes. Uh, and you're a huge, you got, he's a huge fan of someone. Who's it? Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. <laughs> okay, on the count of three, best song Cindy Lauper ever sings. One, two, three. Time after time. I was going girl, so I guess we have nothing in common. Uh, Miss Bria, special ed teacher. This is a big this is a big one for me because we've hung out for years, right? Yes. Alright, so am I fun outside of the classroom? Um of course. Yeah! Alright, Miss Bria, you rock star. Good to see you today. Good luck. All right, Mrs. Dillon, librarian of the school. Libraries are turning into like the Starbucks of, of schools nowadays. And I'd like to introduce the barista, Mrs. Dillon. Uh, librarian, what's your favorite book? You have to have one, right? Of course, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, all right. So, so right. like, you know, Potter Files, just like, you know, we, we love each other. And, all right, you know, cool. So. Well, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, too. We got a lot in common. Maybe we start a book club, but we don't have time for that now because we're going to detention right this second. Okay, put your buzzers down. You're gonna work together on this one. Here's how detention works, teams. I'm gonna give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're gonna have 10 seconds to decide. You wanna play or pass? You choose to play, answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. If you pass, they have to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to get everybody else into detention is gonna win those points. 40 on the board here, so somebody can take a commanding lead. Hey, students. You guys are behind. So how about this category? See how you feel about science. We'll take it. Here we go. What is the name of the brightly colored part of a flower that attract pollinators? Need an answer? Uh, the pistol. The pistol, incorrect. We were looking for the petals there is the right answer, the petals. Which students, you didn't get it right, teachers? You gotta send somebody to detention. Oh. Who's it gonna be? <sighs> Ananya. Ananya, all the way down to the end, you gotta take a seat in detention, and I am positive. <laughs> she does not wanna go. She looked at detention back at her team, and she just shook her head like, nope, not going. Don't worry, we're gonna send some more your way. Teachers, uh -oh. we're going back to you. Category's math. Don't look at me. You can pass to the students if you're not feeling it. Oh, we don't want them. Pass. Here we go, guys, good luck. The internal angles of an equilateral, excuse me, equilateral triangle each measure how many degrees? 60 degrees. 60 degrees, that's right. How about it, that pass came back to bite you. Okay, David, Ben, you get to send somebody to detention. Who's it gonna be? Dr. Gallucci. Dr. Gallucci out of the game. Okay, Miss Bria, Miss Dylan, they're still left. The Galluchinator, that's what they call them at school. I just totally made that up. Category sports. We're gonna pass. Gonna pass. Here we go, guys. Mrs. Priya, Mrs. Dillon, good luck. <laughs> In baseball, what is the term for when two players on offense are both ruled out within the same play? Double play. Double play. There jinx. it is, double play. <laughs> and they ruled in the jinx, how about it? Ben David, did you guys know that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, they're both like, darn it all. Okay, guys, who's it gonna be, Ben or David? Oh, Ooh, we get to pick. Which one? David? David. David, Ben, you're by yourself. Don't worry, pal. Okay, David, go into detention. It's getting full over there. As we move into our category, stays with you guys. Cartoons. Okay, I, I'd say take it. All right, here we go. <laughs> On the Fairly Odd Parents, what is the first name of Cosmo's pink-haired wife? Deep in thought, it's on the edge of her tongue. Mrs. Dillon wants it so bad. Wanda. On the buzzer, Wanda's right. Comes out of nowhere. Ben, I'm so sorry to say this, but you are going to detention, sir. Dr. Gallucci, how about that? You're out of there. Score stand, teachers 100 on the board, students 50. And when we come back, 
It's all about the spell check. So don't go anywhere. to the classroom. Today, the students and the teachers from Penfield Middle School in Montgomery County, they're going head to head. The scores, teachers in the lead 100 on the board, students 50, and they are raring to go here. There's still plenty of time left in this game for anyone to win, and middle school says, let's go right into spell check. <laughs> Here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock, spellers. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. You get it correct, you stay in the game, but if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out of there. You eliminate everyone from the other team, you're gonna win 30 points. The clock runs out, two minutes left standing. You got some people here, 10 points just for making it through the round. Here we go, we're jumping right into spell check. Dr. Gallucci, alive. A-L-I-V-E. Enter, David. Uh, E-N-T-E-R. Good. Robin. R-O-B-I-N. Okay. Power. P-O-W-E-R. Locally. L-O-C-A-L-L-Y. There she is. Deprive. D-E-P-R-I-V-E. -E. Funeral. F-U-N-E-R-A-L. Okay. Pleaded. P-L-E-A-D-E-D. -E -D. Ooh, we got some spellers here. Vertigo. V-E-R-T-I-G-O. There you go, Miss Bria. <laughs> California. C-A-L-I-F-O-R-N-I-A. -I -I Job, Ben. Fourth with. <laughs> F-O-R-T-H-W-I-T-H. -I -I okay, Mrs. Dillon stays perfect. Experiment. E-X-P-E-R-I-M-E-N-T. Wow, you spell fast, nicely done. Trampoline. T-R-A-M-P-O-L-I-N-E. And we are still perfect, and we're moving to the second card. Good luck. Historical. H-I-S-T-O-R-I-C-A-L. Good job. Snorkeling. Snorkeling? This is going to be wrong. S-N-O-R-K-L-I-N-G. <laughs> Forgot that E. Miss Bria, our first speller wrong. <laughs> Despicable. D-E-S-P-I-C-A-L. I'm sorry, out of the game. Intellectual. I-N-T-E-L-I. Out of there, Mrs. Dillon. We're dropping like flies. Dissatisfied. D-I-S-S-A-T-I-S-F-I-E-D. Good job. Holding on to it, Ananya. Unnecessary. U-N-N-E. S-C-E-C, -E -E Doctor, you're out of there. David, Ananya, and the students walking away with 30 points there. Bringing their score up to 80 points. Hey, we're not done yet. Picture day is next. And look, they look good today, and they're ready for that picture. And then, you guys know what's up? Final exam, this classroom session, still in session when we come back. My dude, you ready for pictures? You look good, though, today. The smile. Today we have students and the teachers from Penfield Middle School in Montgomery County. Look, I had to check it out because Principal Dome, you're here today. How about it? You got your students, your teachers We're here. Awesome. Is this incredible or what? It's awesome. Are you pulling Thank for? You. Are you pulling anybody in particular? Nope, both. Okay, that was the that was the most 50 yard line answer I've ever heard. Here's somebody who won't give me that answer. This is Ritvik. Good to see you, man. How are you? Good. How what you? grade are you in? I'm in ninth. So you, do you know anybody up here? Yeah, in all three. Really? Yeah. Are you friends? Do you like them? Yeah, best friends. You guys are part of the same team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I hear academic challenge is what, what you guys do. Anything uh, you guys win lately? Yeah, we won last year. So eighth there's a, we, okay, so as eighth graders, they won. David's going, yeah, we won that big time. All right, do you think they can do it again right here yeah, in the classroom? I think so. Back to back champs. Yeah. Let's do it. The scores are tight, but I want you to smile right there, Ridvik, and just tell everybody picture day's next. Picture day's next. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, grab your buzzers. Students are looking to do it back to back. We're gonna show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm gonna give you guys three clues one at a time. With each clue, we're gonna remove three more of those boxes. You're gonna buzz in first, say the name correctly. Well, you're gonna get those points. But if you're incorrect, someone on the other side is gonna be able to buzz in and get those 10 points. Here we go, we have three pictures today. Here is your first. This dancer and actor was born in England. Doesn't give you much, guys, but we're gonna give you three more boxes and another clue. Let's see if this helps. In an episode of Lip Sync Battle, he went up against Zendaya. Nice looking suit jacket there. Let's see if we can do it with three more boxes and one more clue, this is it. He's played Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe since 2016. David. Tom Holland. Is that Tom Holland? That's Tom Holland, absolutely. Okay. You guys are one question away from tying this game up. No pressure. Picture number two, let's cover with boxes and I'm gonna give them a clue, here we go. This toy was once hard to get. Next clue, three more boxes, Little Sprouts and Adoptimals are the new additions to the line. David. Cabbage Patch Kids? Is that Cabbage Patch Kids? Tie game. Tie game. And how about Team Captain David, a little bit on fire here in picture day. I told you you look good today. Always ready for a picture. But how good can he complete the trifecta? Here we go, guys. Clue number one, this place is frozen in time. Here we go, clue number two. Three more boxes, please. Good luck, everybody. It was an ancient Rome city. Dr. Gallucci. Pompeii. Is that Pompeii? It's Pompeii, absolutely. Taking that 110 to 100 lead. Why is that important? Well, they're going in with a 10 point lead into that final exam, which starts right now. Topic today is middle ages. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer you guys get right is gonna bank you 100 points. This is a tight game, 110, 100. Each correct answer is gonna be so important to the final score. We have middle school in the house today, students versus teachers, who's gonna win? I don't know, but we're putting 60 seconds on the clock as soon as we hear these questions. During the middle ages, what fortified home was built as a military defense, usually on top of a hill or at the ford of a river? Question number two on the final exam, Sierra and Ark are in school to train to become medieval fighters in Astoria in what Nickelodeon show? Finally, what is the name of the social system in medieval Europe in which land was owned by lords while vassals and serfs farmed it? Okay, we know the questions. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock. They're gonna see how well they do. Can Ben's fencing technique come back and help him right here in the Middle Ages? Or are the teachers gonna reign supreme? We're gonna find out right after the break who ranks first right here in the classroom. Hey, you guys wanna be a part of the show? I want you here. Here's how you guys can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. You guys smell that? That's the smell of a great game, and that's what we have right here on the classroom today. Look, we have the students and teachers today from Penfield Middle School. How about the scores? Teachers in the lead, 110. Students directly behind them with 100. Before we went to break, we found out that the topic of today's final exam is middle ages. Well, we're gonna ask three questions. Each correct answer's got 300 points, excuse me, 100 points, 300 points total. Who's gonna win this thing? I have no idea but it is time to find out. We have money and we have bragging rights on the line, so let's get right into it. During the Middle Ages, what fortified home was built as a military defense, usually on top of a hill or at the ford of a river? Ananya, we're gonna start with you. You said? Castle. Castle's right, there's 100 points for you, bringing it up to 200. 
Great start for the students, and we move right over to our teachers. You said? Castle. Castle. Okay, 210, 200, and it's getting tight. Ben, you're a fencing wizard, right? You love it, you play it in your, in your free time. So he gets this question. Sierra and Ark are in school to train to become medieval fighters in Astoria in what Nickelodeon show? This is fit for them. Knights of Astoria. You literally took the word Astoria and added knights to it. I love that from these guys, but that's not gonna get you those points you need. That was pretty incredible, though. Let's see how our teachers did. Miss Bria, you said? A teen Nick show. <laughs> Again, another great idea, but another wrong answer. This is how close you guys were. A night squad. How about it? A night squad was the right answer. And it's 210 and 200 going into this final question. You get it right, and the other side doesn't. You're going to win bragging rights at $500, right? David, are you making, are you going home after this? You win this thing, you beat your teachers. Are you going big? You getting all your friends over for a big party? Of course. Of course. That's exactly what middle schoolers do. So what is the name of the social system in medieval Europe in which land was owned by lords while vassals and serfs farmed it? Everyone at home is dying to know the answer. David, what'd you say? Feudalism. Feudalism's right, bringing you up to 300 points. A Latin teacher, a special ed teacher, and a librarian, it's all on the line for them. The correct answer is going to win you this game, or David's having a monster rager at his parents' house tonight. <laughs> the correct answer, did you say feudalism? The feudal system. Which is also acceptable. Teachers win the game by 10 points. $500 is going to them. Come on out. See you on the next episode of The Classroom. All right, students are loving it. Man, you guys did so